Hey now, everybody, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, if you're wondering why everything is so bare, please bear with me next couple weeks because I'm in the process of moving. Got my own space, so I'll be living alone in a nice little ADU. Um, so if the schedule's a little wonky, um, that's why. Just uh, moving is so stressful to me because I'm somebody that uh, likes having my things in a particular spot, maybe my OCD. So moving's always really stressful, and uh, I'm going to do my best to keep up posting stuff. But yeah, just know if the background looks a little silly in the intros, that's because I'm moving. Um, this is going to be Super Nanny Week. Okay, I got three streams. Hopefully all of them get uploaded. Um, all Super Nanny classics. People love the Super Nanny content. Not as much as Catfish, and I understand. But people love the Super Nanny content. I love the Super Nanny content, so I'm going to keep posting the Super Nanny content. As always, if you don't mind liking the video, it'll take you one, two, three seconds. Boom, you would have been done. Subscribe, that'll take three seconds too. And if you feel like commenting anything, literally anything, at any point on the video, that would mean a lot. Maybe take up 20 seconds. We're talking less than 30 seconds, and you will make me less stressed. Right? And I think that that's great. Um, but yeah, we hit 15,000 subscribers on the channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you very freaking much for subscribing. 15,000 on a long form channel is kind of tough. YouTube doesn't really push long form content because it's harder to get engagement on videos that are longer than 30 minutes or whatever. Um, but to my long formers out there, I appreciate you. Um, not everybody loves three minute pop up type content, I feel like. So I'm glad to get some people on here that are like me and like minded. And uh, yeah, this episode of Super Nanny. Uh, is really kind of a sad one, to be honest, because, like, the family does not like the son. And you'll see, little Frank, especially the dad. The dad just, like, loves his daughter and doesn't love his son. I don't want to say doesn't love, but you'll see what I mean. It's just kind of sad and continues the trend of bad dads in these Super Nanny episodes. So curious to see what you think on this one uh, as we... um can see if you guys agree with me. I thought this was a ridiculous episode, and I was ashamed to be a man uh, doing this one. So, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for the support on the channel. Thanks for 15,000. If you're not one of those people that have subscribed, please do so, so we can make our way to 20,000, and so on. Eventually, maybe one day we'll get 100,000 plaque. Huh? At this rate, it'll be about 2029, 20, but hey, that's not that long. You know? Okay. Enjoy the episode, everybody. Parents favor their daughter over their son, the Minion family. Will these be actual Minions? Let's find out. Let's take a look this week and see what family we've got here. Can I dab for you? Hello. It's the Minion family. I'm Frank, 29 years yes. old. I'm Danielle. I'm 26. We have two children. Frank Patrick, he's You're, seven. I can always dab for you. Skyler, who's four. Hold on. I have two children. Frank Patrick. Skyler looks mean as hell. Hold Frank, on. He's seven. Skyler, who's... He looks mean as hell, dude. Hi, first time here from India. It's 9am. What's up, Hardik? Thank you for the first time chat. Hello from Los Angeles, California. This girl looks evil. I'm scared of Skylar. Got a big head. I had a big head, though, when I was a kid. It's four. I had no idea that having kids could be so much different. Don't you hit me! Damn. They're not quite as easy as I thought it'd be. Be easy. The parents think it'd be easy. Hit mommy. Skylar. Skylar's very difficult. She's hey. got some rage issues. Skylar. She just goes ballistic. Stop it! My word. <laughs> Frank absolutely does not get as much of our attention because of our daughter. Poor Frank. I'm sad to say I don't spend enough time with my son. Frank doesn't like to wake up in the morning, and when I do get him, honestly, respect because neither do I. Mom, I have to physically dress him while he's in the bed. Frank, how come you never help me get yourself dressed in the morning? <laughs> Frank, I feel you, Frank. That's I can relate to that. I'm not a morning person. I have never been a morning person, so. <laughs> Tired. Like Frank. He's seven years old. This is way beyond a joke here. I like Frank. 
I don't like Skylar. I would just like my family to be happy. I'm not going to be good. Uh, Super Nanny, help us. We can't stop our daughter's fits. We don't have the answers. They sound like they're from the East Coast. She sounds like she's got a Philly Jersey accent. I'm curious to see where they're at. Answers, and we really need help. Mom and Dad, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah. Minions. Good morning. Good morning. Pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. I'm Frank. Good. This is my wife, Danielle. Pleased How to meet you? you, Danielle. How are you? Good. Very early in the morning, I know. It sure is. <laughs> but I've heard that you've got issues that need to be sorted out regarding the mornings and getting the children up and it's ready for school. It's so early. early. Joe's presence felt very strong, kind of yes, almost like a principle. Started. I felt as if school was about to begin. What I would like you both to do today is just to carry on as normal, make out I'm not here, I'm going to be a fly on the wall, okay. and I'm going to watch and observe you okay. with the children today, OK? I felt so relieved that Joe was at the house, and I was finally going to get some answers. Yeah, I like when the parent. it's so weird Like when the parents are like almost seem not happy that Joe is there. And it's like, you signed up for a television show, so why? I'm happy when they're pumped that they're there. Danielle Minion. Ew. Uh... Uh, Evelyn, Evelyn Garcia, thank you for the follow. Busy household. And, uh, if I'm correct, I think it's school time. Right? Sure is, sure okay, is. I'm gonna sit uh, back I'll and watch. Frank. And the first thing that we did was head towards the bedrooms to wake Frank. Frank, come on, buddy, it's time <laughs> wake up. Soon afterwards, Mum then went into... Oh, I see something that's a blast of the past Frank, and everybody had at one point. What's up, Jalen? Buddy, it's time wake up. Little Live Strong bracelet. I don't think that's the I Love Boobies bracelet. He's too young for that. Little Live Strong, maybe. Classic yellow wristband. Where the hell did those all end up? They're probably in some dump somewhere. Soon afterwards, Mum then went into Skylar's bedroom. Skylar. Oh, I'm scared of her. She's going to spit venom. To wake her up. Come on. Frank. Rise and shine. Frank is such a like. Okay, Frank is a is a normal name for an adult, but for a kid. Frank is such a funny name. Does that make sense? Like, just, I don't know, to call in a seven-year-old Frank to me just sounds so funny. But then when you're 40, it's like, yeah, it's Frank. I don't know what that is, but. I declare. What's up, What's up Frank? Yeah, Frankie. Bankruptcy! I call him Frank. I call him Frank, man. I am Frank. Frank is me. Sleep is life. I agree, but I don't, the thing I'm not vibing with Frank is sleeping over the covers Got to be under them covers, man. Frank's a good dog name. You awake yet? He does have a big head. I Mum told Skylar that she needed to get dressed because she was going off to school today. The cops are going to come and get mommy if you're not at school. Come on. The cops are going to... Joe's like, damn, really? No! Skylar, please. No! And that's when the fireworks went off. Oh, boy. No! Don't start in the morning. There we go. Sky. I'm not getting dressed. I want my phone. Skylar was clearly running things in this household. What happens now? Each day of school, it's getting worse and worse. It just went from no shoes yesterday to not getting yes. dressed. <laughs> Where is Dad, Danielle? Getting ready for work. So do you normally get Frank dressed every morning? In his bed. He usually won't get out of bed until I physically dress him. <laughs> He's a big boy, and yet she was dressing him. Boy. Otherwise, I'll fight with him all morning to actually get out of bed. He won't even get out of bed. Very suddenly, I realized Frank didn't do much in the morning. <laughs> Mom <laughs> did absolutely everything. I mean, really, I don't think anybody really knows where they're going. They're like puppies chasing their tails in the morning. You got to find your sneakers. You got to brush your teeth. Sometimes I'd like my husband to help more. I usually have to As always, the husband doesn't do anything, and we're not surprised by that. Take the brunt of the storm by myself. I'm going to have to have Daddy help me dress you. Will you pick something out there? I don't want to wear a new An hour of trying to dress a kid is criminal. The Skylar's ducking her heels. I mean, she was having none of it. I have to leave. I really have to go. It means Me like, having to leave for work in the middle of Douglasville the chaotic GA. portions of the morning is not a comforting feeling walking out the front door. What does this do to you, Ray? Skylar screaming and shouting. Kills me. It just hurts that I can't take the problem. 
She's just screaming while the mom's crying. I hate seeing her cry like that or nothing. It's easier to give her her way because then she'll be fine. Mom's emotionally drained from all of it. <laughs> Frank had removed himself from the high-pitched crying. It's quite worrying, actually, that was on his own, having to make do with Mum. Hey, what the hell? They got Frank. Poor Frank. Dealing with Skylar. Do you want me to make your lunch or not? Frank just said, get me out of here. <laughs> all dressed. You ready? No shoes on, no toothbrush, but we're going. Bye. Say bye, Nanny. Well, that took a long time. An hour and 15 minutes. That's got crazy. Skylar up, dressed, an hour and, and to school. Minutes. That kind of mornings I'd want to see again, that's for sure. Jesus. I very quickly realised Skylar... Skylar, I want you to finish eating. ...controls everybody in the She's house. fast, man. She's zooming. Get her going. Mom allows Skylar to run rings around her. Skylar! You must be in track now. Are you hiding? So, Frank... <laughs> So do you get much time with Okay, they're they're that's definitely a Game Boy. I can spot a Game Boy from a mile away. Mommy and Daddy to do things. Mm. Not really. No. Pick the pillows up off the floor. You're yeah. Frank, dude. Don't tell me no. Pick them up, please. No. Pick them up. Do you want a time out? No. Pick them up, please. Pick the pillows up. No. You're in no time out. Uh -oh. no. Yes. Yes, you do. No. Skylar was having a tantrum, plain and simple. Are you going to pick him up? No. no. Once again, what I would do, there. put her on the roof. My sister is that beauty good girl. After being told for the fourth time, she was sent to the naughty chair, which I was pleased to see, but it wasn't being used. You no, know she loves an correctly, naughty chair. Because mum like never Honestly, I'll, I'll look away from walks this. away, and that just adds fuel to the fire. Yeah. What a battle. I mean, it was just absolutely what crazy. Hey, Stop it. Sit down. It was absolutely ridiculous. Skylar hit her mum, and mum hit her back. Hey! Oh, my God. I, I'm not even looking at it. You don't care. I just feel like I'm going to battle her forever, and she's never going to quit. I usually let her off. Let go. No. Does she always hit, pull your hair, and kick when and fight? When she's spazzing, and... yeah. Frank had removed himself desperately trying to find solitude and really being robbed of any of attention. Do you like listening to that, though? I don't know. I an angel. Know. So what was achieved in all of this today? Nothing. Does that make you feel as a parent? It sucks. It's like I know that she wins every time. Because <laughs> I don't know what works. I've tried so many different things, but none of them work. she's been crying for, like, 15 hours straight. It's like, is it worth fighting for... Two, three hours. Maybe I'm just not strong enough to do it. It ended with Danielle desperately needing this hug from Skylar and, and Skylar desperate to be held as well. But nothing actually got solved. Hey, Sky. When Dad came home, it gave me a chance to see how he interacts with his children. Hey, Sky. She could do no wrong. It's just Daddy's little girl. She, she's just precious. Oh, boy, this is the start of the problem. She can do no wrong. I'd be like, well, watch the damn tape, buddy. She's doing a lot of wrong. Let me tell you that. She's making your wife cry. So this is this is this is where this begins. Everything she does is cute. Hey, Frank. No, I don't know if this guy is around his daughter. Because pulling your wife's hair and smacking her in the head, I don't consider that cute. He's always the last one to come greet me if I even get him. Am I interrupting you? First, I want a hello. Is there much interaction with you and Frank? Do you spend much time doing things in the house? Watch your mouth. All right, uh, I'm trying. No, I'm not right now. We don't really interact probably as like a father-son should. Or what are you care. doing to the couch, Frank? Like, I have nothing in common with my son at some point. Is that how you feel sometimes? Sure. He... I have nothing in common with my son. He's seven years old. So, yeah, you probably won't have a lot in common. He's your son, not your... Not your boy, like, not your bro. Really, once again, one word answers. Never really ever have a conversation with him. Come on, hurry up. I need all those bikes oh, put in the shed for seven. me, buddy. It became very clear to me that Frank was a lot tougher on his son than he was on his daughter. Oh, that's, his name's Frank, too? They're both named Frank? I just need it in there, whatever you gotta do. Oh, my little helper. Thank you, sweetheart. Later Dude, on in this the is crazy. It's like Mom bipolar. and Dad had organized a barbecue 
and their friends and family came round. Can I get a hug? <laughs> Say hello, Sky. No, you cannot get a hug from Sky because she's out of her fucking mind. Skylar refused to say hello to anybody. Skylar, come say hello to Sharon, hello. please. Frank, did you say hi too? Frank didn't bother to have any manners. And you don't need to be playing video games, Frank. When we have a family member or a friend walk in the door, I feel it's just common courtesy to have Sub everyone room. greet who's coming in. It's not very nice. Everybody came over to your house and you're not even saying hello. Skylar, I want you to sit with the kids, baby. Here, I'll give them it's always time. a fiesta. <laughs> Oh, here she oh, goes. Was done. No. Once the barbecue started, the children's behaviour started to decline. Come on, Frank. Patrick, come say goodbye to everybody. Why are you not say calling this kid Frankie? How are you not calling this kid Frankie? If your dad, the dad's named Frank, call this kid something else, man. Bye. No. Just a hug. You don't have to kiss me. Just give her a hug. How about no, five? No. My kids just have the worst manners. Danielle and Frank were really embarrassed by their children's lack of manners. Can't Why does say... anyone want to come to the house and see you if you're not going to say hello? Why are the adults so goodbye? obsessed with but saying hello to the really kids? They have really high standards and expectations <laughs> no! of their children. They expect them to hug and kiss and demand. Actually, God damn it! <laughs> Give him a big hug. Oh. I feel confident about the issues that the Mignon family need to address. Next say Mignon. And. It's Minion. Don't say that. It's not Minion. I can't wait to get started. Own home. Frank, he doesn't do it with his own father. How can you expect him to develop his social skills when he doesn't even do it with you? The, the pair of Bruce. you love your kids, but what you have to be is realistic with your expectations. Joe told us that we completely lost our power to a four-year-old little girl. And that our son sits on the back burner because all of our attention is focused on our daughter. So, with a lot of determination, some hard work, let's change He's got beef with the his power son. shift. You guys up for that? Yes. Absolutely. He well, let's get cracking. Beef with his own son. The first I'm so thing I did after observing the family was to go back and to present them with a family go. routine. We know Joe which loves they her desperately charts. needed in order to gain some form of structure to their Lemon. house. Okay, Frank. What does that say out there? Family routine. Exactly. Family routine at 6.30. Pre-wake up Frank. <laughs> a pre-wake up call is to gently break your child into the morning before the alarm goes off. What I want you both to do is to take turns in rotating that morning. At 3.15, to 4.15, well, the mom does seem genuine. Yeah, activity. yeah, she's trying. I want to see the kids having some wind down period of time here. from school. Dad, between four. Right, okay. Frank, I want you to never sleep. You won't have to worry about waking up if you never go to bed. 4:30 and 5 p.m. I would love you to sit down with Frank and do his homework. Sure. Okay. Lots of encouragement and support. That felt good to know that I have this time slot. I know that. This guy sucks. Once again, you needed Joe Frost to tell you that you could uh, do your son's homework, and that is that's like an eye-opening experience for you. Are you that much of a fucking idiot that you've never thought, oh, maybe I should hang out with my son and do his homework? It took Joe saying, "How about an hour, mate, of your fucking time?" Now suddenly he's super. He's super dad. Like, dude, what an idiot. This portion of the day is my son and I. Go, Frank, buddy. any questions? No. No. Skylar, any questions? Skylar, no, any questions? Oh my god, she's plugging her ears. Bro, she is honestly a nightmare. Okay. Look what I've got here. What is it? I introduced the reward chart because it's the a fun tokens. way to make the children reach their goals and earn their rewards. You start. Look at, look at, look at uh, Joe shake the thing next to uh, uh, her, and the then watch she does. She looks at it and just like <laughs> whips her head. Like, ah! Skylar is, hates everything. Goals and earn their rewards. You start to collect your tokens until. Dude, the side eye she gives is crazy. The levels that say five. 10, 15, and 20. At the end of each week, the children receive rewards depending on how many tokens they have. Yeah, I think the rewards is one of the best parts that Joe has showed us because it gives us something good to give to the kids. Hey, good start. 
Thank you for the follow, Jasmine. Skylar, mommy's cooking dinner. Danielle oh, started to prepare dinner, and Skylar wouldn't let her do so. She wanted to be picked up constantly. She's going to pick screaming. her up, put her on the roof. No, that you'll pick her up. What, what you know is it's perfectly fine. If you pick her up, what you're doing is you're teaching Skylar that every time she behaves this way, it wants you just to pick her up. Danielle couldn't bear Skylar's crying, and then she broke down. What's this about? What is it that you feel is going on right now? It's not funny, but the fact that she's holding like a giant uh, sweet potato does make it a little bit funny. What, what is it making you feel right now? I don't want to give her away. Just cry. Okay. You feel bad because you are not letting her have her own way. Okay. Who's being a good mother right now and getting dinner on the go for the whole family? So, be a positive parent. Dude, the noises. She's like a zombie. Mummy can't hold you right now. I'm cooking, okay? It gave me a lot of strength to have Joe there. I break down easily with all the crying and chaos and running, and I just feel like it's never going to work. When I'm done cooking don't dinner. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, poor Frank, dude. This dude just kind of vibing out. Look at him. He's just vibing out. He's just hanging out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Damn. And tell her if she does it again, she would go on the naughty roof, chair. I'm roof. behind you right all the way here, Danielle. You are taking the power back. I don't want to go to jail. Okay, then you don't hit me. Oh, no. Watching my daughter taking it so tough. Just wanted to grab her, scoop her up. You need to stay here. Shut up, dude. This dude's so annoying. You're not doing jack shit. It was very hard in the beginning. I don't think I would have been able to get Skylar to stay in the naughty chair by myself now. <laughs> this actually truly genuinely may be the most annoying child I've ever seen on this show. God, man, look at her go. Jesus. Bring her back to the area and say, you've heard her. Fair enough. It's been like an hour. But you need to say sorry for your behavior before like you can You could tell Frank and, and Frank and Frank were playing Connect Four. They're definitely gone. Mommy. You can help, Mommy. You need to say you're sorry Maria, first. Maria, you? For how you acted earlier. Once you apologize, you can help me. I'm not sitting down. He really Skylar hates not chairs. Apologize and it just dragged on. But Danielle was very persistent. One and a half hours later, on top of the hour, two and a half hours, she has tried to get her daughter to sit in a chair. Where is the dad? Probably napping. Probably talking crap about his son because he's not strong enough. And she became increasingly confident. What do you need to say to mommy? She won't sit in that chair. What do you need to say to mommy? You can come out of timeout when you apologize. What do you need to say to me? Sorry. Thank you. I'll turn my hand back. When Skylar and Mitch. Yeah, that was a good sorry. That was a real good sorry. She was sorry. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, did I hate I do not like this man. Your daughter did this for two and a half hours. All she said was sorry, and Frank is over the moon. Big smile on his face. Oh, this guy sucks. I'm gonna boo. Shut up. This dude actually sucks. He does have a real punchable face, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanna give him a knuckle so I wanna feed him a knuckle sandwich. The chair worked. I'm really... I'm going to order Jersey Mike's. The chair worked. You dumbass. She wasn't sitting in the chair. Sorry. I need to calm down. It's not... It's not uh... It's not rocket science. Like... All right. Let's do it. Ch chicken. Sorry. Chipotle cheesesteak and a bag of Doritos. 
Let's do that. Also, I have something funny to say about my doctor appointment today I went to. Real quick. Hold on. Let me load that up. So I went to the doctor today, and last time I was at the doctor, like six months ago, I was 188 pounds. And because of the Lexapro, Lexapro makes you gain weight, or at least it, it does for some people. So it made me gain like 12 pounds, and I was I was down like 199. And my doctor was like, okay, so you gained 11 pounds, but are you happy on the Lexapro? And I was like, yep. He's like, all right, eat away. <laughs> so I was like, all right. <laughs> like, there you go. And he re-upped my Lexapro, and we're good for six months. He said I looked. He said I look healthy. So I was like, "You're right," because my uh, my cholesterol wasn't wasn't bad, and my blood pressure my blood put my blood pressure was good. I told him I quit soda, and I told him that I hadn't smoked weed, and he was very pleased. So, I thought that was funny. I'm really proud of you. Well done. This morning, I arrived nice and early to start the Rise and Shine Technique, early. where I found and Danielle Nikki. and Frank both hello to pretty anyone that has not said to hello. say the least. How you doing the Rise and Shine Technique is to make sure that mornings ooh, run ooh. smooth and are organized. The night before, the children need to choose their clothes and the alarms need to be set. Mm -hmm. In the morning, the parents need to pre-wake up Not at this point in my life. And that is to open up the to, door ajar I'm and to like put a soft my body lamp in on. Any way anymore, which is and good. then to gently stir the children to let them know it's all. time to get up. Once the children have That's woke an annoying up, sound. it's Aren't then you? for them to take the responsibility in making sure okay, that Frank. they get themselves up, dressed, washed, and ready to leave. Well, you dressed yourself today. Good, Frank. good job, pal. I didn't know what to What's do this office? morning because Frank actually dressed himself. I had time to like we love just that. wake up. For his first attempt, he managed to get himself up, dressed, and had his bag ready to get on that school bus. Well done. And it was Mum's turn to wake up Skylar. And oh boy, as here far we as go. Danielle was concerned, it was like brace yourself. I'm getting Jesus. nervous. I don't feel like fighting with the her. The war this is about so to begin. Do then, fight or not? I'm not. I'm not this guy. So she took a great big deep breath and off she went in into there. Skylar's room and Skylar did not budge. Come on, baby, it's time to wake up, okay? You got a couple minutes before your alarm goes off. You've done the blinds, the lamp on. That's it. In the beginning, I was like, Jiminy Crickets, here we go again. Jim Jiminy Crickets, that's such an old saying. Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> I don't even want to begin. So the alarm clock went off, but Skylar didn't budge at all. Skylar, come on, honey, we have to go to school. I want you to put on the clothes that you chose last night. I agree. No. Let the dad wake her come up. Come on. OK, pull back the duvet cover. <laughs> all right, so what you're going to do now is spray her with the hose. <laughs> she doesn't want to get up, we'll make her. Come on in. Come on in. I would bring the hose in, spray her. brush her hair. If she turns around, she's not getting dressed, not brushing her hair. Spray her with a hose. Five minutes, then we come back in. Skylar, I'd like to see you get dressed for me, sweetheart, and then I want you to go brush your hair, okay? No. And I know you can do it. I'm not. Well, that's your choice, Skylar. If you want to go to school in your pajamas, that's your choice. I'm not going to school. So come and show, come and give mommy a call when you got yourself dressed. Come and give mommy a call at the door when you got yourself dressed so I can see, okay? No. Okay, that's good. That's scary. That's I feel like that she would be really good casted in a um like a horror film. Like the An Amityville horror or something or Annabelle 3 or how many Annabelle's Annabelle 6, Saul 75, how many whatever. She would be really good. She doesn't even need anything. Just bring her out of bed. The Conjuring, right. Just bring her out of bed. She's ready to go for hair and makeup. Or like uh, Emily Rose, the exorcism of Emily Rose, the exorcism of Skylar. What I want to do Freaky. is let her understand that you are sticking to your guns, okay? Mum stood her ground, but Skylar was not ready to compromise. Here we go. Compromise. There she goes. 
They put this funny music in there, I would be pissed. Like, what's the point? Of, what's the oh, point of putting your covers on the ground if your skies are there? What's that about? She said she was going to get dressed and come out. Right, okay, fine. Lo and behold, for the first time, Skylar actually got dressed by herself. Oh my god, you she did look something. great! You did that all by yourself. Fantastic. And great. Well done. This is the first morning that Danielle has stuck to her guns God and meant Get her out of the house. what she said and followed through. Imagine, and no offense, but imagine the teachers. I feel so bad. School teachers are saints. I could not deal with, with, with that every day. If, it, if it's your daughter, it's like, hey, it's my daughter. It's my, I love her. You're a teacher. You got to deal with Skylar every goddamn day, bro. Oh, my God. I'm sure it's a nightmare. They'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's a nightmare. I think just getting her up in the morning without a battle to go to school is success in itself. Hey, Skylar. I'm really proud of you. Shut up! I Skylar. want... I Skylar, great. Whatever. I want to see Frank get his vengeance here with... The family and never initiates any form of conversation not even to the point where she'll just say hello and goodbye this little baby here told me that she wants to say hello to this big baby and she doesn't know how to so one of the things i did do was to role play with skylar is that hello or goodbye that's that's goodbye when you're doing this that... wait what the hell wait why does she sound like a <laughs> wait 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 Wait. I did not expect that. <laughs> Why does she just kind of like sound like a a a twenty five year old girl or something? That freaked me out. I was so used to her crying and screaming, I forgot that she like spoke. That's definitely. This is like what's the what's the um, what's the movie where the it's like. She poses as a little girl, but she's actually an adult, and she's... Dude, that movie... This might be uh, Orphan. Yeah, this she might be the orphan. Orphan, man. Where did that come from? Where did that voice come from? That's actually crazy. Hold on. Bye. I thought she was going to say, like, yes. She's like, well, to be a matter of fact, this is hello, and this is goodbye. Like, where the hell did that come from? That's that's goodbye. When you're doing this, that's that's hello. Mary, dude, it's the demon speaking. And I asked Skylar to do it herself. That she from? showed me what a hello was and what a goodbye was. What does Bear say? What does Bear say? I know. Hello, that's right. Say, so come in. What does Bear say? Come in. I think I've made progress in Skylar's understanding of how important Her voice it is, is to is say when she's not hello is that's by and goodbye. Satan. This next step in the socialization process is to identify personal space. So, Frank, let's have you in the middle of that orange circle there. It is important that Frank and Danielle do not put pressure on their children to be affectionate towards their friends and family on demand. Skylar, come say hello to Sharon, hello. please. Frank, did you say hi too? No. Say goodbye. No. Give him a big hug. Aww. No, Emily. I made Frank see what his children see. These circles represent the intimacy that you have with people. When we come into the blue circle, it means that we've already developed the common ground of saying hello and goodbye. When we get to this circle, Frank, that means that I've encroached on your... I'm not trying to be weird here, but I would love for Joe to be that close to me. I know that, that that probably does sound weird, to be honest, but I'm just being real. Like, see how he's cowering? I would be happy. Is my food here already? There's no way. No, there's no way. I just ordered it like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, no way. What's my Riz at? Well, I didn't do it. I have to do the Riz thing. It only works when I do it. Check it. See? space how comfortable does that Natalie. feel a little tight in here to sit in the center of the circle and to look up and see joe i felt a little intimidated see he's not ready your children have their own space 
They have their own area. And regardless to whether they're family or their friends, they will have their own time in which they feel comfortable to allow that person into their pink circle. Now imagine that you're Skylar and she's this tall. And then she meets an adult and that person comes straight into her space. Hold on, I ain't... <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. What? This would be pretty cool. Look how scared he is. Look at him looking up at her. He's like a little baby. It's quite intimidating, isn't it? Intimidating, sure. She's not like, what if I smack your head like this? I think it was definitely an eye opener. I'm definitely going to be more aware of the kids' personal space. Go I'll look at it in a different way than I did before. I introduced the feelings chart because Frank is often never heard by his parents. So I really want to be able to give him a chance to express himself. If you feel good about something, that I want you to use the happy faces, okay? Mm -hmm. If you feel bad about something, Frank looks like that I want you to use the happy faces, he's okay? He's forty-nine years old, but also six. It's really hard to say what that means, but like I just feel like he's. You, if you just shrunk a forty-something-year-old dude, and made him a child, that's how I feel he is. He just looks like an old young baby. I don't know how to say it. If you feel bad about something or you feel sad, what I want you to do is use the sad faces. I'm feeling happy today. You, you go, feel Frank. happy today? I'm going to get to spend more time with my dad. Yeah, oh. you are. If mum and dad can visually get an idea of what's going on in Frank's head and how he's feeling, they can do something to change that. That's your special chart. These are your special faces, and this is about how you're feeling, because that's what's important. I'm going to leave Danielle Thank and Frank for a couple of days to get on with implementing the techniques. Danielle, take care, yeah? I'm going to miss having Joe there tomorrow because I just feel like I need someone to look at and just say, you know, what do I do next? Support one another through all the techniques. Well, there's no doubt they're going to be tested. And I'm going to be watching them, so let's just see how they get on. Good morning. All right. Getting up, pal. Good job. Ah, the morning routine. This could be a challenge. Come on, baby. You hear it? She's not budging. <laughs> like, I just... Fra the way Frank dresses like a 40-something-year-old. I love it. Frank, that's a big improvement. I would like you to put these on and come out in the living room dressed and make me really proud, okay? Hurry, hurry! Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Excellent. Frank's off to school. Love you, pal. See you, buddy. But what about Skylar? Come on, let's go. No. Oh, here we go. Shocking. Dressed? This girl really loves to sleep. Or do you want to go to school in your pajamas? Mommy, no! Oh, okay, boy. Well, here I'm going to put your clothes in your book bag. Here we go. You're gonna go to school in your pajamas then? I need a Tylenol. Well, let's brush your teeth so that you don't have stinky breath at school. No, no, Come on. I don't want to brush my teeth. Okay, well then we're not. We're going to school though. Come on. <laughs> she like goes look. She goes completely no. limp. Look. Come on. I don't want to brush my teeth. Okay, well then like, we're not. When I try to pick no, Bambi, we're going to school, <laughs> she's, 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 her her whole her body is like a, a rubber. Okay. <laughs> she's like no. Come on. I don't want to go to school. Bit of a struggle. Skylar's going to school in her pajamas. Oh, boy. Way to go. To she looks like she is... She grew up to be like a mean girl that just judges everybody, you know? She's judging right there. You could just tell. Danielle, Joe said you don't need to... <laughs> she's rolled the window up on the camera guy. Like, she's, like, smart, kind of. She's, like, smart, but then she's just bad on purpose. Fight with her every morning. Just take her in her pajamas, and eventually she'll learn. Yeah, my mind was made up. She was going to school, pajamas or not. 
Over the next few days, Danielle and Frank continue to, be a bully to use their sure. tokens as rewards. If Skylar goes to get the haircut, she can get five tokens. I don't know, Mom. Five tokens? Not watching Kyla, it's two tokens. No bribing, Danielle. Like, it's shut up, Frank. Children feel good about completing their tasks. Later on, Frank sat down with his dad to do his homework. Shut your mouth and start doing your homework. <laughs> what the? What is there? This show is... Where did that come from? <laughs> what the hell? Any progress I thought we just had out of... What? Poor Frank, dude. This kid is just hanging, sitting there. He says one thing. He gets to shut the hell up and do your homework thing. Oh my God. Poor Frank. I hate that both their names are Frank, by the way. I'm only referring to Frank as young Frank. Old Frank doesn't get acknowledgement. Is that an A or a C or what letter is that? Fix it. I've never seen an A with, with those. With, that looks like a C. <laughs> is that the right? Start over. Fix it everything. No, I know what's right and what's wrong. Just do your homework. I, that's what I always do. We're going to a bad spot with this whole homework thing. Yeah, you don't... I can't write an A. Frank, start your homework now. Then let me write my A. You write your A, you're going to sit in the naughty chair. What is he doing wrong? Dad's going to put him in timeout, and he's telling his dad, I don't know how to write it that way. So instead of being like, let's go over how to do that, he wants to put him in timeout. Right, you help him. That's the point. He's eight years old. You're supposed to be the parent and be like, okay, let me teach you this, okay? You don't know how to do it? I'll figure it out with you. Instead of saying, I'm right. Another dad that has a has a power struggle for sure. Naughty chair? Why? Right. For what? Erase it, Frank. <laughs> Dude, don't cry over writing a word. This is ridiculous. You know what? Sit down. What am I getting it there for? <laughs> you you heard what I said. Get in. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> You're in timeout. Look at me. You're in timeout for giving me a tough time at homework and for not correcting your A. What? Not correcting your A is crazy. Giving me a problem on making an A. That's why you're now in timeout. You're in timeout for seven That's minutes. crazy. Bro. And most off you're in timeout for is because you're just a little whiny brat. Damn. You break my chair. Don't break my chair, Frank. You're being a little whiny brat, Frank. Bro, I'm telling you, this dad, another dad that should be in prison, I think. Another dad that should be in prison. This, the daughter is an absolute nightmare to society, and he says, "Oh, my little baby." This poor, this poor kid's just trying to do his homework. It was simple homework. Dad, you are letting your anger get the better of you. <laughs> Whip his ass, Joe. But I do feel like the the wife should should kind of come in there and be like, "Enough." Stop crying Dad, now. You, you sound ridiculous, Frank. 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 Oh Shut your mouth, babe. Oh boy. I don't want to hear him whine. You just can't, though. Yeah, the, da the dad wants, like, this tough, like, football player jock son. He's eight years old, and since he's not getting that, he's, like, pissed off. He's like, this ain't my son. I'm I'm, I'm a man. Yeah, it worked. That was going to beat his ass. I'm sorry. The mom isn't doing anything either. Your time out for whining and for not listening about what I needed you to do with your homework. That's why you're in time out. Now you can get up. And don't whine. I want to make my egg. So you continue to whine. Frank, oh my God. you need a homework assignment. Communication 101. Burn. Oh, I love it. He's not happy. <laughs> Honestly, good for little Frank. I would put that sad face too. I'd be like, yeah, fuck you. I'm pissed off. Frank, that was just so unfair. You and I need I've to talk. I've never heard the word Frank more in my life. Possible. Let's go, Joe. Beat him up. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Right. Oh, I, even I love him a the hug. part where I go back to the house and show the family the DVD footage because it shows the parents exactly the mistakes they've made yep. and how we're going to amend it. I've been looking at some footage, so why don't we go and sit down in the dining area and discuss what's on this? Okay. Okay. Let's take a look and uh, 
Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Come on, baby, you hear it? She's not budging. Do you want to get dressed? Or do you like, want look to go at to look at the dad. Look at how he watches the daughter. Hear it? She's not budging. Do you want like the daughter being bad as hell, not listening to his mom? He's all smiles. He's happy as can be. He's like, oh, there's my little girl not listening. And then his son, who's only eight, he was miserable. It's a, this is so weird to me. This is really weird. Do you want to get dressed or do you want to go to school in your pajamas? It's your choice, Skylar. Ah! We're going to oh, school, though. Come on. You can tell, like, the mom's, like, traumatized. You can tell she's like, yo, this sucks. Because guess who has to deal with it? The mom. I don't want to go to school. Absolutely fantastic. You did it. Good for oh, the mom. Funny, no help from the dad. No fighting. Skylar's going to school. And if she doesn't put her clothes on, they're going into the bag. You give her the sense of choice. You have made a major leap. Okay, moving on. Let's look at the next one. Oh, here we go. The golden tokens are given when a child establishes that they have achieved a task. Already, oh, she off. oh get, get ready. She's about to go in. Watch. Up the mark of get ready. saying, right, what can we get five tokens for? What can we get ten? Your children four days ago were happy just to get one token. Yeah. So keep it simple. Right. There we go. Don't let me think. No, I know what's right and what's wrong. Just do your homework. I, that's what I always do. Shut your mouth and start doing your homework. You're time yeah, she, you should never talk to your kid like that. That's crazy. Time out for giving me a tough time in homework <laughs> and for not correcting your A. The most off you're in time out for is because you're just a little whiny brat. You're going to break my chair? Don't break my chair, Frank. You're being a little whiny brat, Frank. <laughs> you spoke to him with no respect. I was angry. I don't accept him whining. You used language. I don't accept him whining. That was abusive. It's just in this situation, Frank, I, was, Frank, I was frustrated. You need to check yourself, Frank. What I just saw go on there was destructive. It was so negative. You don't recognize the fact that he's whining because he's frustrated and he's in a place right now that he's finding difficult. Danielle, what's your intake on this? You're always like that with him. Ooh. Exposed, 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 exposed. Exposed. He was like, it, it was just that one time. She's like, bitch, it's every every day. Get him, Danielle. I'm glad she said something. I'm glad she didn't punk out or anything there. I want everything. <laughs> Get him. He whines every day, and every day, that is how you handle his Get whining. Him. You have a very bright, funny sensitive up, child and you see how well frank responds to positive praise right. why on earth frank would you not want to give that to your child on a daily basis um, i don't want to be negative i don't want to go this well, route here we i go. knew i was going to have a moment like this and maybe i needed to have a moment like this yeah. you're the parent frank you can change it that is why that is why we are doing this the way i've done it i don't like it I have intentions to change. It's, it's, she's looking at him like, yeah, I've heard, you know, she's saying, I've heard this before. It's going to be tough, but, you know, I'm willing to do it. After seeing the DVD, I realized that I do need to take a more positive approach. Has this piece been an eye opener for you? It sure has. It's bad, but I feel a good going to come about it. Great. I do. So what we're going to do is reinforce some of the issues here so we can have you back on track. All right. Okay. Okay. There's another one of those guys where they're going to try to make it seem like he changed in the last five minutes, and I will not believe it. The first thing that I wanted to do was to pull Dad aside I'm not and let him like work it. on his relationship with young Frank. Frank, explain. Let's go, Mookie. Learned a lot from the Super Nice Dreams. I use some of our methods. Dude, I'm telling you, like, this show is good for any future parental things. Also, just don't be like old Frank. Thank you, Mookie, for the 15. To Dad, what that chat's all about. It's me and my family. 
I took Frank and young Frank into his bedroom so that he could explain Frank what the happy and, and sad Frank. faces were all about. What this chart's going to do is going to open up communication between you and Frank. Okay. It's going to open up that door for you to say, hey, buddy, look, I see you've got a sad face there. Look, explain to Daddy why you was feeling sad. We had a bad homework day. Yeah. Right, okay. No, you don't. We, ha we had a bad homework day. You don't say, Frank. Automatically, you're in a conversation where the two of you are talking so that it's bringing you to closer together sure. in. I think the feelings chart is an excellent way to have Frank express his emotions. I think it's great. It really tells me how you feel. And I'll check your chart each night before you go to bed. That dad is so fake. He's so fake. Just even what he's saying there, he's being so fake. Bed. I want you to know the importance of me knowing about how you feel. Because it okay. means it means a lot to me. Fake. I want you to be comfortable with me. And I, I don't want He ain't buying it. You could tell this kid's like, yeah, whatever. He's not buying it. I yell anymore. I think my dad's coming nicer to me. That's sad, bro. That makes me sad. When you two talk to each other, you talk in the proper way that each other can understand. You don't whine. This is what whining is. I know me. See, I can't right? understand that. And when daddy can't understand, daddy gets angry with you, and he shouldn't get angry with you. Daddy's definitely going to work on controlling myself to allow to, myself to hear you. Daddy doesn't like the fact that he did get upset with Daddy you should be to the impressive. point where I was very angry. I do apologize. Daddies can apologize too. This was a big step. <laughs> Daddies can apologize too. You don't say, dude. He's never apologized before. You could tell that like hurt him to say sorry. Dad apologizing to his son. He's making progress. Oh, so can you stop work with it. me on it? I'll try. Good, because I will try to. I feel like I've hit a reset button. I feel like I kind of have a new beginning. I have a new start, a new approach to things. When you Whatever. hear him moaning and whining, and you think, oh my God, I'm getting irritated by that, just ignore that and come straight in with the encouragement. There are lots of praise. And that's all stuff that's going to build Frank's I confidence. I do have that inside of me and the ability to do it. I just leave everything at that front door and just pull the good stuff out. Young Frank had some homework to do and Dad sat with him and gave him encouragement. This is a spelling test, you ready? Weather. There was no firm undertones of making Frank feel intimidated by him. You're right. Okay, but once again, Joe's sweet, but she, she's standing next to him. <laughs> like, what do you think he's gonna do? Start, start screaming at him? Confidence there, huh? I know, I like it. Frank's pleased with himself when he achieves his goals, but Frank beams when his dad gives him praise. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt good after his homework. He was proud of himself. Valley. I think the approach the Updates are, right, let's get him after, right after his hands off. Thank here. you. Some of the family came round. Hey, who's at the door? Can you please check for me? For a little party. And Danielle encouraged Frank and... Damn. Look how fast she ran to the door and unlocked it. Oh, my God. For a little party. She she did that so fast. And Danielle encouraged... Jesus, dude. Frank. It's like there was a burglar about to come in and she locked the door. And Skylar to open the door and say hello. Hey, Thank you. And Skylar... She's like, come in. Come in. So that was good. That's all part of the socialization technique. I love you. Well done, Skylar. All right. Say hello, say hello. Good job. Yeah. Look at here. Parents were far more relaxed this time round. Let's have speed. It set the tone in the house. <laughs> this is a special pacifier. And she's holding. All right, Frank. Tastes like bubblegum. Try. That's good. <laughs> you did. You tried. You just went into big, jolly, silly dad. The kids started laughing. Cool. Yes. Expectations are more realistic. The family must have noticed a difference because they used to not even receive a hello or a goodbye. <laughs> oh, look at grandma. <laughs> grandma being silly. Grandma being wacky. Look at Gigi. <laughs> look at my fucking big glasses. <laughs> There's definitely some changes in the kids' behavior with their socializing. <laughs> Funny. Funny. It's going to take a while, and it's something I have to keep working on. And I've definitely seen an improvement. Come here, come here. Walk to the door, Sky. 
Come on. Oh. Let's say goodbye because JoJo's going now. Bye. I think the greatest gift. They never really introduced the poor grandma. Joe has given me is just Looks an like understanding is, of is each of my Edith. children. She's just got knowledge that most parents don't have. It's been a, a tough journey. When I first arrived here, Danielle was really low. I mean, she was depressed. Mm. Yeah, Danielle. Thank you so much. Mm. You're more than welcome. Keep up a good work. They've been the grandmoms. God, where's the devil? She felt totally out of control when it comes to disciplining Skylar. And now she's gained that back. What do you say to me? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Which is progress galore. Frank. Thank you. Take care. Joe's made a major impact on her family. I am absolutely grateful to have Joe come into my home and open her eyes. Can I have a hug? I think things have changed around here because of Joe Joe. There you Bye. go, Frank. We love that. Bye. See ya. Things have changed around here, and I'm hoping that Danielle and Frank continue with the progress that they've made. Family update. Big Frank beat Frank up. Give me five. All right. I'm very proud of you. Let's See, get I told you he's going to pile drive him. I knew it. <laughs> I called it. I could just tell. Dinner ready, Sky. Come on. I feel this whole process has helped my family for sure. I never I believe anything with the, when the cameras are back there. Smiles on my kids' faces. I see a smile I don't on my wife's them. face. I feel good. I'm seeing things turn around. I don't trust that them. I didn't think were possible. You're doing a great job this morning, Frank. Nah, that's all cap. I'm telling you, that's all produced BS. No. I love Frank sure. So Frank's got a real unique style for an eight-year-old. He legit dresses like a retired Floridian. The mornings have been a huge change. Frank gets ready by himself, gets his own breakfast prepared. I feel proud Damn, of that. Frank that. His own Skyler's been getting up. <laughs> it's... I love it. Frank wakes up, gets dressed, makes breakfast, drives to school. Skylar's been waking up. <laughs> hey, anything is progress. Anything is progress. Joyfully. Life in this household has definitely she improved immensely. I'm so proud of you. My parents seem happier because my sister's getting better and nicer. <laughs> See the glow in my wife's face has made this process worth it. The change that I feel as a parent is that my eyes have been opened. Nah, I don't trust this guy. I learned I trust that Frank needs positive attention. I need to have patience. Good job, pal. Very proud of you for that. Very proud. I definitely feel a stronger relationship coming on with my son and I. Yeah. I'm proud of my family for taking it on. It was a big change for myself, my husband, and the kids, and everyone seems to be doing their part to make it work. Mom's good though. I like the mom. I like the mom. She did. She did a good job. She did good. I'll give her credit. <laughs> 